Okay, my name is James Crowell. I'm president of the uh, Biloxi branch NAACP here in Biloxi, Mississippi, and I'm kind of giving a, a narration on our community here after the storm and where we are right now. We Right now, we're on Main Street in Biloxi. This used to be a premier street at clubs all up and down the street at one time. Uh, on Friday and Saturday nights, you couldn't get down the street for so many people being here. They had a, a theater, they had nightclubs, they had cafes. Uh, this building here where my office is uh, was had a lot of different stores in there. We This is uh, New Bethel Baptist Church that just rebuilt after the storm. Uh, this building here was what they call the Blue Note, one of the premier clubs that was on the on this uh, on Main Street at that time, and as you know, it's a mixture of houses that were here too, and and uh, several other clubs were along the street. This is Divine's uh, Soul Food uh, and Catering. They just opened up after the storm, doing a real good job there, real good food. And uh, we're gonna turn down. This is Esther's Boulevard, which was named for our first. A councilman for uh, Biloxi. This is one of the workforce housing houses that they're building back uh, for low rent housing. That the grant money, CDBG grant money. This is uh, the first Missionary Baptist Church, the church I go to now. Yeah. Uh, we just moved back in here two weeks ago. Uh, our church was uh, destroyed by water here. The old, the old church was right here in this location, and uh, we bought some additional properties. And expand that's about a two and a half million dollar church you're looking at now that uh, we rebuilt. Uh, this is the uh, Elks Club, one of the old clubs that's been here. Uh, it was a private club, uh, but it was open to the public. They're now trying to close this club, uh, and a lot of people still want to see it open, even though you know some people say. Well, it's been there. It's been a part of the community, and we, you know, we're losing a lot of the community around here. You see, some of the houses here have been rebuilt. Some have not. Uh, this house here, for instance, is still boarded up because of the storm. Uh, on down the street here, uh, we had trailers here. This is an old baseball field that used to be here that they put uh, FEMA trailers on. The poles that you see out there where the trailers were hooked up for, for a temporary location for our people. And the field further over is the old uh, Biloxi High uh, football stadium that's now been sold to the Salvation Army and is being renovated uh, to serve uh, this community with two swimming pools, one indoor, one outdoor, uh, a community center, and a chapel that the Salvation Army is uh, building. These are this is a black community here. Homes are being rebuilt. The Biloxi Little Theater is still here. This used to be an all-white street. It was all white people used to live on this street. This guy just built this house. He's still working on it, trying to get it up. And this is what I was telling you about. This this particular was a, was a site for a lot of people to come and to uh, get help right after the storm. Uh, the Salvation Army had uh, a place. This was. Uh, a, a nonprofit from up in South Carolina came down here. They fed a lot of people, uh, gave them mattresses and sheets and clothing. And a lot of them were sent off from here to different places up north to live from this location. And as you can see right now, they're in a building process. This is what I was saying. They're getting ready to build uh, two new swimming pools uh, one inside, one outside, and a community center and also uh, a chapel that, that will serve this community. Uh, this is St. John uh, AME Church. Uh, they had about four feet of water in this church. They they cleaned it out and remodeled and they back in business again. Uh, this building here was a restaurant right before the storm, but now the Salvation Army owns this and they use that to train people about doing some restaurant business. And we're getting ready to Pass a uh, one hour. The only school in our uh, Biloxi Public School District that's named for a black person, Nichols Elementary School. Uh, this school was, had just been opened maybe a year before Katrina hit. Uh, they got 
five million dollars to rebuild that school, and now they're closing it. So this is a, this is a school that we're fighting to keep open right now. Uh, the school was given the top rating of all schools in the school district. None of the, all the other schools go lower. This had uh, a star status school, and the the uh, teacher of the year for Mississippi came from this school, and the and the parent of the district came from this school. So this school had had a lot going for it, and now they're getting ready to let the Boys and Girls Club use it for the summer program. Uh, but we think that this school still is still needed in our community. This is Moore's Community House Early Head Start. They just rebuilt this after the storm. Uh, they, they, they were destroyed. It's a part of this whole uh, community that they have here. These houses were here right before the storm, but they were rebuilt uh, after the storm. This one actually put, up, put back. This is the old Head Start building that they did not rebuild. Rebuild. It's still uh, it's just sitting there. The uh, public school district took that back over. So they don't know yet what they're going to do with it. But they had two areas right here. These houses here and those houses over there. Or the Hope Six houses that you see. And they put this bridge here to connect them together. As you can see, it, they're keeping it Keep it up. Well, that's what we would like to see throughout this whole area. New homes coming in, new construction, but it appears that a lot of it, uh, the city is not trying to support that. By taking that school out of the district, that's going to really hurt us. By taking it out. You saw uh, Moore's Community House. This is, the, this is their home site right here. This is the other building. As you know, they got a lot of young kids, single parent moms, moms who can't afford to send their kids to school. They, they send them here to more community early, early head start program. They got this center here on Davis Street and the one you saw earlier over by uh, Nichols Elementary. And they also have this church. I'm on this board, as a matter of fact, for Moore's Community House. This, is, this used to be an old United Methodist Church church. They gave it to Moores, and Moores now use it for their community, for their uh, program, Mississippi Low Income Child Initiative, and their Women in Construction program is run out of here. And of course, their administrative office is in here. And this part of the, the church now. They do a lot of good work, a lot of good work. And the, the, all that was destroyed except for the church was destroyed and they had to rebuild it. They had to find the money to be, rebuild it when they were able to get get the money and, and rebuild that. Now here's the other uh, school that we have in our district. This school was built about the same time Nichols was built. Uh, they tried to close this school last year and we fought to keep it open. Uh, this is Gorin Flow Elementary. Both of these schools were rebuilt after the storm this school here probably about $10 million was used to uh, redo this school. As you can see, it's a pretty large school, nice school. Now they've taken and combined those two schools. They've taken Nichols and put it in here. Mm -hmm. uh, we feel that these, both these, still, these schools could have been utilized by moving the school students more to the east, the zoning. Mm -hmm. The Boys and Girls Club was using part of this. They had to move out because they now combining all it's easy. you see boys and girls club was on that door right there mm -hmm. and uh, this is the this is going flow elementary and it's a nice campus that we got here this is another one of our Catholic churches they have a, 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 they had an early head start program here in that building and this is called blessed uh, Francis Xavier Salos Catholic Church. They changed the name of this church. It was something different before the storm. They changed it after the storm. As you can see right here where houses were and they're still trying to rebuild. But you can see a lot of the houses that, that were here originally are still here. People, uh, a lot of volunteers came in and helped to rebuild this uh, 
this area. So now, with the oil spill, 